Namaste and welcome to Alpha Mind Power YouTube channel where we talk about the mind, how the mind functions and how we can make it function in a way which is favorable to us and which can give us very good results in life, which can make things better for us every day in our day to day life. Now today we are going to talk about another aspect of money. I have we have uh, made some videos about money. I have spoken different aspects. Now today it's another aspect where when a person is in debts, what happens? When a person has a lot of debts, why do a, why does the person get into debt? See, sometimes it is out of necessity. Many many people they definitely have so many so many expenses, so many responsibilities to fulfill, duties to be fulfilled, and for all that they need money. The income may not be compatible, so they need to borrow from somebody. And sometimes the borrowing goes beyond the limit, and then suddenly they find. Sometimes it, it also accrues a lot of interest and suddenly they find themselves in the clutches of debts. It is a very disheartening feeling. One pers a person can feel absolutely depressed when he is in too many debts and he doesn't know how to repay. So what can we do to come out of this situation? Now monetarily if you see what is really required when a person is in debts is first of all one must understand as far as possible avoid taking debts because that is not the best way to relate with money of course there are times when a person cannot avoid but what i'm trying to say is if that particular expense can be postponed till you have your own money then the best thing would be to postpone that expense and not take debts from anybody not borrow money from anybody because before you know what is happening a person can easily get into that web which we call debts and then it becomes a little difficult to come out the mind also becomes very depressed and things start going negatively this happens to many people and uh, here the most important thing is what we call uh, money management or financial literacy it's called today what is the money that is the income and then how many debts do you have and what are the expenses of course it may not all tally but the first thing you need to do is sit down and calculate and see and create a strategy to get rid of the debts at least in a course of time that is required. If a person says I have debts but what can I do about it then it's not going to go away. So the intention is the most important thing in the mind. The intention has to be that that I want to clear all my debts. Now apart from the financial management, money management, financial literacy all that is one part of it. Now the other part of it is how can you make your mind cooperate with you. The mind energy is something which works for us every moment of our life. And the thoughts in our mind are the soft that those uh, form the software which is within us and which is working, which leads to our beliefs, which leads to our uh, the way we think. So how can we manipulate our mind or change our thought forms in such a way that definitely slowly you will be able to come out of the debts? It's a very very simple thing. If you can meditate, nothing like it. Please do meditate because whatever we do at a meditative state becomes much more powerful because you are in a state of mind where the mind energy is very high when you are in a meditative state you are calm and we call it an altered state of consciousness so whatever you do at that stage it works more powerfully but if you are a person who do not uh, meditate regularly then for this particular purpose you can at least relax yourself take a few deep breaths if you can close your eyes you can sit and close your eyes do this at least once a day and at that point when you are a bit calm, you can give yourself a command and say, I have cleared all my debts. Now immediately, I can, I can understand the moment I say this command, your mind starts saying, but then I have all my debts there. Everything is still there. How can I give myself this affirmation? How can I give myself this command? But that is the beauty of a command or an affirmation that you give your mind because you are not going to tell the mind the situation which is there now. You want to change the situation. So there's no point in telling the mind I have a lot of debts. You must be doing that already. And that doesn't help anybody to get rid of debts. But if you can tell the mind I have cleared all my debts, then slowly the mind starts believing it. And as the mind believes it, it will start happening. I will just give you one example. Many years back, when I was uh, doing this class, when we had um, live physical classes, direct classes, long back, this was somewhere in 2004 or 5, if I remember right, I was uh, doing the class in Madurai. There was a very simple lady. 
I was teaching the basic alpha meditation class, how to go to alpha level, how to visualize your goals, etc. This lady came up and uh, asked a question. She said, but I have different kinds of debts. I have hand loans, I have bank loan, I have this, I have that. She said, I pledged my jewels. There's so many ways I have, so many different uh, modes of debts I have. And she says, uh, I don't know how to live with all these debts. I really want to come out of these debts. Then uh, I told her, maybe it's difficult to visualize one by one that this debt is getting cleared, that debt is debt getting cleared. So I told her, make it easy, make it simple, go to the alpha level of the mind, which is a meditative state. The subconscious mind is open, you're connected to the universal energy. Just give yourself one command. You may not even be able to visualize it properly. So just give yourself an, an, an auditory command. Mentally tell yourself, I have cleared all my debts. Maybe you can even visualize that you're saying this to somebody and saying, I've cleared all my debts, I'm very happy now. So she took it very seriously and went home. And uh, when I went back to Madhuri after about four months for the next session of classes, this lady came to me and she was so happy. She said, I started practicing this every day in meditation. I would say I have cleared all my debts. And she said, slowly, I got a lot of money unexpectedly. Her son gave her one lakh rupees, which normally he doesn't give her even 10 rupees. But he just came and asked her, how much debts do you have? Please clear away all your debts. Don't keep any debts. And he gave her money. And there was another chit which she got unexpectedly. It was not expected at that time. But she got it. And with all that, she was able to clear all her loans, all her debts. And she said that this is the best thing that happened in my life. And you see, when you focus the mind properly on the solution and not the problem, then many things start falling in place, into place and many things start working for you. The entire universe will work for you to make, your, make you achieve that statement. That is why this command is very effective. I've seen it in the lives of many, many people. You can also try. If you have debts, please try this. And of course, make any other efforts that you need to make to repay whoever you have to repay in whatever way you have borrowed. But intention is very important. Intention should be the add this command whenever you meditate or whenever you can sit quietly and see how things work out in your life. And do please let me know right in the comment section. I will come to know.